Hey everybody, it's Emerald Monet, and today on my channel, I'll be showing you my current favorites, also known as my quarantine essentials. If you like to see the things that I've been loving and enjoying over this quarantine, make sure you stay tuned. We're all stuck at home, let's face it. But that doesn't mean that you have to let yourself go and not get dressed every day. I definitely have those days where I get up and just feel like being cute and want to just get up and not have on the same pajamas that I've been wearing for the last two days. So here are some of my favorite quarantine safer at home essentials. My first lounging in the living room outfit is this comfy lounge top. All clothing is from a doormat. It looks just like a plain gray t-shirt, but once you turn it around, it has this super cute pink bow on the back. Super cute. And it also comes with some cute little boy shorts. Comfortable and cute. Each outfit, we're gonna get a little bit sexier and sexier. I have options for every mood. So when you're feeling a little bit more sexy than you are when you're wearing that gray outfit, this is where this comes in. These cute lace boy shorts. Super cute. This cotton and lace top. Throw this on when you're not trying to do too much. He's been playing too much 2K. Now, for when you want to walk around the house and have a little sexy time, this is for after you've used that bath bomb, had a couple glasses of wine, whether you're just laying around in the house or you're about to have sexy time with your bae, this is the outfit for that. I absolutely love the color of this. It has the cute bows on the side and they also slit up the side as well. It has this beautiful lace detailing across the front with more cute bows down the front as well. Super cute, super sexy, and also comes with this sexy pair of panties. Lace in the front, a mesh in the back, although I'm sure they won't be on for very long. On those days when you've had a little bit too much to eat, feeling a little bloated, this is the perfect thing to cover up that little pooch. Now, when you are really trying to blow your bae's mind during quarantine, you gotta keep it spicy. You're stuck in the house all day together, and let's face it, things can get a little boring. So sometimes you just gotta turn on some music, pour him a nice glass of wine, and throw this bad boy on, okay? Sexy high-waisted panties, lace detailing with cutouts in the back. Super, super, super sexy, okay? With this super sexy bra. It has a nude underlay with the crisscross front, all lace detailing, and a definite favorite. A meme going around that says, the next time you go into the refrigerator for a snack, why don't you sit around in your bathing suit instead of your pajamas to determine if you really need that snack? So that's exactly what I've been doing. Another quarantine essential is a swimsuit. You have to try on a swimsuit to make sure it still fits. Now, I can't hold it how it goes. This is a little tricky, you'll see in the video, but, not only do I try on the swimsuit to make sure it still fits and to make sure my body is still summer ready, but sometimes I like to just lay out and pretend that I'm on an island vacation. I'll put on my swimming suit and some sunglasses, get me a nice cocktail, and sit out and listen to the way. Another current favorite of mine is the outfit that I have on right now. I love this soft plaid pajama set and it comes with shorts. I mean, I typically do like to lay around and be comfortable, but like I said, you have my days where I feel like getting sexy. You know what I mean? And for my next favorites category, we have streaming services. I feel like a lot of us have been doing a whole lot more streaming since the stay at home order has been in place, and I am no exception. I personally have Netflix, Hulu, Stars, and Disney Plus. I usually stick to stars and Disney Plus when I want to watch movies, and I usually watch my TV shows over on Hulu and Netflix. On Hulu, I've been re-watching the show Revenge, and another show that I want to check out on Hulu is Little Fires Everywhere. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it, but I haven't gotten the opportunity to get into it yet, so I'll definitely be checking that out soon. 
Another show that I thoroughly enjoy over on Hulu and cannot wait for the next season is Handmaid's Tale. If you haven't watched The Handmaid's Tale, I highly suggest you check that out. A lot of people talk a lot of smack about these shows, but I personally enjoy them blackish, grownish, and mixed-ish. And speaking of those shows, I've also been enjoying Black AF on Netflix. Another set of shows on Netflix that I will recommend are Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and Legacies. Vampire Diaries and Originals have already completed themselves, but Legacies is still currently on air. I'm also thinking about checking out Ozark. I started watching it maybe about a year or two ago when it first came out, and I just kind of lost interest, but I've been hearing so many people talk about it that it's got me tempted to look back into it. No, I haven't checked out Tiger King. No, I have no intentions on doing so. I do not care to know who Carol Baskin is. <laughs> I'm good. Another show that I was kind of interested in checking out was Money Heist, but then when I realized it wasn't in English, it kind of deterred me from it, but maybe I will sometime. So my next category of favorites is music. I've been listening to a lot of Division. I love Division. His new album is flawless. Love it. I like the baby's new song with Meg Thee Stallion and Ashanti. Another album that's been in my rotation is Party Next Door's new album. I've been enjoying Tory Lane's new album. I'm always listening to Currency. I'm always listening to Wiz Khalifa. He just dropped an EP on 420. And of course, I've been enjoying Janae's latest album. And I also have been enjoying Meg Thee Stallion's latest album as well. As far as books are concerned, I'm currently in the middle of reading The 48 Laws of Power. And I'm also reading The Four Agreements. Along with those for just a little bit of pleasure reading, I've been reading the Harry Potter book. Now for my next category of favorites is one of my favorite things in general, and that's food. I'm sure a lot of us are doing a lot more cooking at home, and it's probably for the better because it's probably a lot safer and a lot healthier. Some of the things that I've been cooking and enjoying are jalapeno poppers, homemade pizzas. I've been experimenting with different types of tacos. I am a vegetarian, so I've been doing different fillings with them. I've been making jambalaya, red beans and rice. I love to eat and I love to snack. Chips and salsa, popcorn, hot fries and queso, yum. So many good snacks. I've been eating a lot of Little Debbie snacks. Honey buns, the donut sticks, oatmeal cream pies, cosmic brownies. Look, I'm trying to be as healthy as I can. I'm still drinking my apple cider vinegar, taking my sea moss, you know, but look, a girl has her needs. <laughs> Little brownie ain't gonna hurt nothing. Y'all heard what I said. I still try on that swimsuit, making sure I'm good, okay? I'm good. Another favorite thing of mine that I've been into lately is Duolingo. Duolingo is an app that has just about any language you can think of on it. And hopefully when this is all said and done, I'll be able to hold a conversation in Spanish. They have all sorts of languages on there, from Japanese to Swahili. They even have High Valyrian. They make it super fun and easy. You learn how to spell in the different languages, read in the different languages, and speak in the different languages. So I think it's an awesome app and I recommend that for anyone wanting to give their mind a work. So since we're living in a different time, in a different era, we've been seeing a lot of different things pop up that are very new to us. Like all of these celebrities going live. So I've definitely been tuning in to a lot of these live segments and my favorite lives are Quarantine Radio, quarantine, hosted quarantine, by quarantine. Tory Lane. I've also been enjoying the Versus Battles, hosted by Timberland and Swiss Beats. And another thing that I've been enjoying, even though it technically isn't alive, is Will at Home. I love some Will Smith, so I'm gonna watch anything that he does. Some miscellaneous favorites. I've been enjoying red wine, and I've been drinking a little cognac as well. My favorite type of red wine I've been drinking has been Cabernet. I've also been drinking a little Merlot. Another thing that I've been enjoying are Lush Bath Bombs. When you get that glass of red wine and turn on that Division album, you have to have a Lush Bath Bomb. Well, that just about wraps up my current favorites. If you have any shows that you'd recommend I watch, any music you recommend I listen to, books I should read, let me know in the comments down below. Wait, before you go, make sure you check out one of these other videos on my channel. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I hope to see you on the next one.